Welcome back folks. In this class, I'll talk about acceleration in detail. Acceleration. So if you start driving from your home, let's imagine this is your home and the initial velocity before you just start driving, the initial velocity will be zero meters per second. And then if you are throttling, let's say at acceleration of five meters per second square, what does this mean? It means that after one second your car will be moving at five meters per second this will be the velocity after one second velocity after two seconds will be equal to 10 meters per second so after one second if it is five after two it will be 10 meters per second and after three seconds the velocity will be equal to 15 meters per second and after four seconds velocity will be 20 meters per second okay notice that this is the velocity I'm talking about. This will be the velocity after four seconds. Acceleration, this is not the acceleration. Acceleration is constant. That is five meters per second square. So if there is an acceleration of five meters per second square, every second car will add up a speed of five meters per second. That's what acceleration is. Now we will try and understand velocity displacement and acceleration with the help of graphs so if there is a car which is accelerating in real life that's what happens because once you're going to start from your home you're not going to continue moving at uh, a constant speed you will start from the zero meters per second and then you will throttle it and maybe it will reach to five meters per second and so and so forth you keep on increasing to 10 meters per second and blah 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 now uh, how to draw this on the displacement time graph if the car is moving like that so let's start drawing it again this is i'm taking as the east direction so if the car is moving in the east direction east i'm drawing it the positive on the upside and this will be the west now the car is covering the displacement you will agree that in the first second car will cover the less displacement as slowly but surely it will keep on increasing the speed then the car will cover more displacement in less amount of time so initially it will take longer to cover the displacement but eventually it will take less amount of time to cover the displacement so the graph will look something like this a curved graph so this graph shows that there is certain acceleration is involved whenever the graph is a curved graph now i wanted to if nothing is given to me about this graph i wanted to draw the velocity time graph from this graph how can i draw so i would like to give you guys a couple of tips uh, those tips are about the slope so if you don't remember the slope so i'll recall so this kind of a slope is called a positive slope and i'm going to place it as a positive one here and if if it is a horizontal line like this this is called no slope or zero slope i'll call it as and then if it is like this inclined line starting from the uh, from the left hand side moving towards the right hand side then this is called this kind of a slope is a negative slope uh, so these these are the things we will remember and then we will also draw 0 1 and negative 1 so this point i will call it as 0 and origin and uh, then as i said uh, the positive this will be one and this will be negative one here so same thing now this is the velo this is the displacement time graph down here i wanted to draw the velocity time graph from this one so what i'm going to do is first of all i'll draw the velocity time graph empty diagram now in this one i'll try to fill it by looking at this graph i wanted to fill this one so i'm going to start with the slope so first of all if i see down here right near from where the graph is starting we'll take the two points from where the graph is starting and where the graph is ending so from where the graph is starting here if i draw a line this is this is almost a, a tangential line i'm trying to draw because this is a curve the green line is a curved line so red line is a tangential to it and this comes out to be almost a, this is a horizontal line uh, i should not use the word horizontal almost so if it is a horizontal line this becomes zero so zero plus one and down here negative one 
and then up here if i draw a tangential line this tangential line comes out to be a positive slope inclined towards the right hand side so this becomes a positive slope positive one i'll write it so if i go down here this is how the slope is if you say inclined towards the positive side this is inclined towards the negative side this is a negative slope this is a positive slope now i'm going from zero to one so in this one if i see the slope zero to positive one so i'll draw the line from zero zero moving towards the positive one positive one is up here so i'll move it in this direction that's how the line will look like because you are moving from zero to positive one now looking at this graph i wanted to draw the acceleration time graph for uh, the given velocity time graph how i'm going to draw it if what kind of a slope is this again same concept i'm going to follow this is a positive slope so i'll draw a positive one here and then i'll try and draw the acceleration time graph so this will become zero this is positive one and this is negative one and you are moving from zero uh, to positive one and the slope is positive one so it's just a slope one slope you are not drawing the two in this one there were two slopes so you moved from zero to positive one in this one only one positive one is given to you so you will draw a horizontal line on the positive one so this becomes a constant uh, acceleration all right so that's how you're gonna draw the acceleration time graph and it comes out to be positive because this number is a positive number now let's try and uh, draw the uh, velocity time graph and acceleration time graph from another type of displacement time graph imagine your car is moving in the west direction so it's again it's uh, slowly moving starting from zero meters per second and then accelerates to uh, let's say uh, 50 meters per second okay and uh, what's gonna happen if i try and destroy it on the displacement time graph this is in the west direction so this is zero this is uh, negative one so you slowly started slowly started but then after after a certain time the car speeded up so this is how the graph will look like now looking at this displacement time graph i wanted to draw the velocity time graph and the acceleration time graph so again i'll draw starting from the uh, origin point i'll draw a hot, uh, tangential line to this origin point and right at the last so a tangential line at this point so if this if i see the slope is zero here the slope is negative one and then if i have to draw it on the velocity time graph velocity time graph how i'm gonna draw it so zero zero means this is the point zero and this is the negative one so you're moving from zero to negative one you're moving like this now what kind of a slope this velocity time graph has this has a negative slope so if it has a negative slope on the acceleration time graph how i'm going to draw it you guessed it right this is negative one positive one i'll draw it on the bottom half the horizontal line on the bottom half that's how i'm going to draw it 